I'm going to do this tutorial pretty quick, boys and girls, um, because I'm having surgery in a few days. And it's my anniversary today, so I don't really have a lot of time. But somebody was asking about editing uh, shoes. They were coming in and not being you know, properly lined up or something. And how do you edit one shoe or the other? First of all, shoes are just a single mesh. I think I've covered this in some of my other videos about like uh, gloves and things. Uh, gloves, a pair of gloves is just a pair. It's a pair. Uh, shoes are shoes. Think of it as like pants. You know, they call them pants, but but the two legs of pants are all part together. So these are together. You can't get single shoes. If you wanted to get single shoes, the best thing to do is bring your object into Blender and delete the meshes out on one side and bring it in as a single shoe. That's We've talked about that in the past. That's really all you can do inside of Daz. I mean, you can do things like hide. We can go in and hide this shoe, and then you have one shoe, and hide that shoe and duplicate it that way, but that's just ridiculous. I, I, again, get familiar with Blender. It's free. It's fantastic. Bring your shoe in there as an OBJ, FBX, delete the meshes out on one side, and then you can bring it into Daz as a single shoe if that's what you really want. Same for gloves. But in terms of editing, when you bring in a pair of shoes and you want to edit it, you can do the same thing for gloves or actually anything. We can do this a number of ways, but uh, elements is actually the easiest way. Well, elements or face, either one. Now, notice if I go to element and then I select the elements here, um, I, I get all of that shoe, okay, that way. If I go to face and select the faces uh, and I have ignore back faces on, which you normally do, but this is the default is ignoring back faces. So now when I do this, I didn't get those back faces. So in order to select everything there, I'd have to turn off ignore back faces and then select it all that way, and then and then I'd have that. But uh, like I say, I prefer to go elements. It's just a little easier for me to, to do that. But either way, whatever you want to do. And then you just use your regular controls, you know. So you use the regular uh, moving controls to adjust the mesh properly. Now, remember, with shoes, too, uh, you, you can hide the underlying mesh, so you don't really have to be, like, compulsive about this. Uh, that's actually pretty darn good for that. I, I, I don't know if I would really get obsessive about this too much and uh, see if I uh, had to, you know, uh, get that. Okay. I mean, actually, I think that's pretty damn good. Uh, again, you can, and remember, you have other tools. I would not do this. I would prefer to hide the mesh or adjust that, that shoe a little bit in this direction. But remember that you have other tools where you can pull and push the mesh in, in different directions. So, uh, but that looks pretty good. And then you can hide those little toes there. You have other tools that you can adjust. If you go back to the, to the, um, uh, da, 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 where is it? To the, uh, the sculpt. If you go back to sculpt here, I can push or pull these out of here. So for example, I, right now I have, uh, what do I have selected? I have pull. So if you have pull selected and you hit it, you can pull that, that part of that mesh out. I generally don't like doing that though, because you got to be careful about pulling it so that you distort it so much that you can't see, uh, you know, the actual object. It doesn't look like the actual object anymore, but you can use pull. Uh, and then we do the same thing for the other side. I mean, I don't know that I have to show you this, but uh, I, I will. I'm, uh, again, it's, it's, you don't have to get compulsive about this. We're not looking for an absolute perfect fit on, on shoes. We're just looking for something that's close enough that then we can uh, go ahead and uh, hide the underlying mesh. But I know some people are real anal about things and they want to get it just perfect. And, you know, that's not bad. And again, we, we go back to sculpt and then we can use the, the push and the pull to, uh, to push and pull the toe out. You just have to be careful. You don't push too much because you distort the mesh completely. And and then that's about it. And then there's there's your mesh. So that's how you can edit the different sizes of the shoes on there. And hopefully this helps. And this is my last tutorial till surgery. And hopefully I'll be out of surgery Tuesday and I'll be able to do other tutorials. So we'll talk to you soon. See you on the forums.